Given that one gallon of paint covers 28 square meters of surface, determine the total amount of paint in liters that is needed to paint the outer surface area of the barn. And we have there an extra bit of information saying one gallon is approximately equal to 3.79 liters. Use direct variation to solve this problem in which volume varies directly with surface area. The constant of variation K converts the relationship to an equation. V is directly proportional to A or we will say that V varies directly as A. However, for the relationship between V and A to be an equation, we have to include a constant of variation, which is also called a constant of proportionality, K. V varies directly with A, but in order for us to have an equation relating V and A, we need this constant of proportionality. In a typical variation problem, initial values of variables are given so that we might find the constant of proportionality, which is K. Typically, when we have a direct or inverse variation problem, one of the first steps in the problem would be to give us initial values of A and V or the two variables that are related to each other in order that we may find the constant of proportionality. And we have them right there. The volume is one gallon and the area is 28 square meters, which we substitute in their appropriate places. However, we are given that one gallon is approximately equal to 3.79 liters. There we have it. One gallon is approximately equal to 3.79 liters. The answer is required to be in liters and we have the relationship between the gallon and liters. We may therefore substitute 3.79 liters in the space of one gallon. And we are doing that because our answer is required to be in liters. Determine the total amount of paint in liters. And that is why converting our volume of paint to liters is appropriate in this particular case. Find the value of K by dividing both sides by 28. We have an equation and K is our unknown. It is accompanied by 28 on this right hand side in a multiplication relationship. We will therefore eliminate this 28 in order to find the value of K. We will do that by dividing by 28 which is the opposite of multiplication since K is being multiplied by 28. We will do the same thing on the other side in order that the equation may remain balanced. K is eliminated from the right hand side and on the left hand side 3.79 divided by 28 is equal to 0 0.1. One, three, five. Here, 28 will be eliminated by 28 by division. And on the left hand side, we have 3.79 divided by 28. That is equal to 0 0.135. Now, we'll go straight ahead and find the volume 
of paint required and as such we will return to the original equation the original equation in a direct variation problem is what we use over and over again it is the same equation we may find the value of b by making use of the fact that k is equal to 0 0.135 and the value of a that was previously calculated as 2034 square meters the rest of the problem is simple we know the value of k from right here and in a previous audiovisual we were required to calculate the value of the total surface area which we have to be 2034 substitute them in their respective places and that's the end of the problem we will finish up by saying V is equal to 0 0.135 multiplied by 2034 and the result will be 275.3 liters For access to hundreds of free videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Richard James Mathematics Resources. For unlimited access to thousands of exclusive full-length videos, please subscribe to our Vimeo channel, Richard James Mathematics Resources.